Ah yes, restoring the Mongol Empire to make Genghis Khan proud. How great it feels. Well then, Siberia is basically ours. Uh, yeah, we did pretty damn well as you can see. I'm gonna try to clean the rest of this up but there's only a couple of provinces in Siberia really. And uh, we basically own it. Well China still sucks some pretty big dick, I'm not gonna lie, but this, you know, we should be able to clean this up, I mean, the rest of the provinces have pretty high morale and are doing pretty well, I'd say. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to actually take the rest of this out, it's taking way too much time. I don't even have that many units in the area, so that's probably a reason. Let's uh, try to retake Nanchang, they have a couple of units it seems, but not very many. I think those were just ones they got from their revolts, because you get units from revolts. They're usually low level and shit units like militias and uh, maybe infantry, but it's, yeah, it's pretty damn weak, so yeah. And we'll just go around here and uh, hopefully take everything that's left. There we go, that uh, might work out, hopefully it will. There's really not much left, but uh, you know, it's still annoying as hell. Anyway, after we take uh, this USSR out, which they're almost gone, well, we have a clear mission to do, which is take uh, Japan out of mainland Asia, as was in with Manchukuo. I think after that I will probably end it. Communist China and Japan are still fighting if uh, Japan doesn't win until we invade. Well, we'll take Communist China too. Our production is looking pretty good with uh, some good stuff here. We actually have level 3s here. And we're still researching level 4s on both motorized and median tanks, which will upgrade uh, everything to a little bit later. I'm gonna use this motorized infantry to... Well, I don't know. We could take this, but uh, let's go over here. Then uh, go here, because this is a fast as unit. So we're gonna want to make sure we use its potential and get all the way there while we use something like, well, motorized from here to take this province. So there we go and uh, then use this to go up here and take the rest of, uh, well, what's left. So these two provinces, I will split them. So one stays in this province, the other one here, so it doesn't revolt. They really have, like, I can't imagine they actually have any kind of unit here. If they do, maybe it's an infantry level 1 or something at the damn best. So, uh, let's do that. That's a smart thing to do. Well then, uh, with this, regarding this, uh, so... With this uh, motorized infantry, I'll go here, here, and then just keep going a bit further. Then we have this clusterfuck. I'm gonna use, like, two motorized to go here clean this up and then start making their way up the, the north here something like this and with these two units I will go here like this then go further into the far east that's gonna take quite a lot of time but it will be done with these four motorized we have here I'm gonna try to invade north Sakhalin take this and then uh, move like three of these to the south go and take Alexandros so there we go uh, as you can see, morale is pretty damn good here, even if it's, you know, pretty far away from our capital, still it's looking pretty damn good, and we'll be able to actually stabilize the region. After this, we'll be looking pretty damn strong. Currently, our economy is looking pretty damn good, and so is our manpower, surprisingly enough. Altai and all of these regions or uh, cities are making industry, so that's great. And uh, these ones, which is one Batar as well as Mandaloa, uh, have been making recruiting stations level 3, which now they make a lot more manpower, which is great. Now we make uh, 20,000 manpower per day, which is a lot more, it's like one third more than before, so that's great. We might have a lot more manpower now. So in this show I'm gonna level up their production center, here it's a tank plant, I think it's a barracks in Ulaanbaatar, it sure is. So we'll level those two up. There we go. When we get these researched, well, Simply said, we're gonna need to finish with our conquests to, up to upgrade all of our units, but we will do it then, get some insane units. With that, then we'll actually be able to take anybody out. Uh, surprisingly, Poland is still active, which is very weird. Anyway, France took out uh, Germany, as you can see here. Poland uh, has been under pressure of Germany for the entire game, basically. Warsaw was a fucking... Uh, 
Frontline City. So that was interesting to see. While our Indian brothers are making their way to Kiev and the Western USSR, so the Soviet motherland basically, or Soviet heartland, better uh, described. Other than that, I think Italy is still active, they sure are, still aren't doing anything, though South Africa is inactive but it's taking out uh, the, UK out, the UK out of Africa and Venezuela is insane taking out Brazil and Argentina at the same time as well as like maybe Paraguay, I don't think so actually though, so yeah, uh, I'm surprised they can actually do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Australia is also not active, they looked active but they're actually not because they're taking the East Indies, so yeah. While India is taking French into China here as well as into China as, a, as a, an entirety. So, you know, we're not gonna go down there anyway, so we're not gonna care. Our goal is really to take something like like this. Maybe take out Japan too, I guess we'll see. Maybe avenge uh, the two attempted invasions of Japan in real life. Anyway, 90 front ports, you can see some uh, bronzes captured, some lost and... Uh, well, not much else, some industry built here. So yeah, that's about that. Anyway, uh, we could keep producing, yes we could, we actually still are, so we're not gonna do anything. And we're just gonna keep it as is, I think that's fine. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it there then. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you can like, subscribe, whatever, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow as always, see you then. And of course, have a great rest of your day.